Hello and welcome back to more Metro Exodus PC Enhanced Edition. Today I'm finally going to do the DLC as I never got around to it before the PC Enhanced Edition came out. First up, I think, is the two kernels since it's first on the list. Uh, after, after a new level is loaded, the previous auto saves progress. Well, I finished that. It's fine. I finished. Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission. But that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. Uh, by the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right, but my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So, you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. Fire. I like lots of fire. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klepnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Ooh, My fancy. It's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? Should be, but I'll still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh, thanks. Do not want to break leg. I like leg. So we're in the tunnels with the slime stuff, huh? They're calling it slime. I always thought it was flesh. Because it looks like flesh. Before we begin, let me turn off this. I wish I could assign a hotkey. Oh. Fancy! Oh yeah, I don't have a light. Fire. Wipe the ash off my face. This thing needs to be recharged frequently, though. More fuel. Damn! This thing is huge! Well, you didn't. Oh, I guess he hasn't seen the other ones, has he? I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. 
Alder, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good. Oops, I didn't burn the floor properly. There we go. I guess, yeah. Nope, radiation in there. Reload and recharge. Oh wait, that's rubble. Disgusting. Yeah, tentacle. Ugh. Did I miss it now? Did miss some. Ah, and this time I'll be reading the notes since I've never read them before. Foreman's Diary 1. I gotta admit, it. That Adre does have a good head on his shoulders. These tunnels were always easy to get lost in, but when they get covered in slime, even a map can't help. It's enough for it to cover some passages to change the shape of the place completely. The road signs truly are God sent here. They're highly visible and the slime can't eat them away. We only had to ask our guys to grab some signs when they returned from the work at the railroad and they brought a whole bunch in no time. Now we can't get lost here even if we wanted. And the Oskom guys will have an easier time finding their directions too once they finally decide to visit this place with their flamethrowers. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I really should arrange a bonus for him. He's earned it fair and square. Ash doesn't fall off my mask. Do I have a backpack? No, I don't. I'm collecting supplies, so I'm assuming I'll get one. Go fuck the worm. Tap like bad. Oh, I missed. Yep. Oh, fuck my head. <laughs> I didn't notice the quick time event in time. Uh, starting off, starting off solid. Thing here is gone. Oh, I think I missed that last time. All right, prepare to tap E. Tapping has commenced. Oh, 
fuck? It's violent. And it's still alive. Well, it is a worm. I, I don't. I can't say I know exactly where it's. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't exactly know where its brain is. So. Why well, it's radioactive here? Right, water. Die. No power. Nothing like a DLC that will awaken your inner pyromania. Hey. Was it was this diagram here? Emergency water supply system schematic. Well, I hope I don't need to remember this. Yeah, I probably don't. I probably don't. Here's something squelching. Oh, it's probably out here. Blast. Ugh. Uh huh. Knew there had to be something in here. I didn't set that fire there. <laughs> Did I burn it? I think I burned it. Oh, I ran out of charge, not to uh, fuel.
Gotta say, burning stuff. Very fun. There's something on the ceiling still. This shit's still squelching. I need to drop the water. You gotta blast the little tentacles. Ew. Hmm. Five med kits. Wow. It's my lucky day. Did I get all this shit? No, I didn't get you. Die. Oh shit, I'm running low on fuel. Perhaps I'm using it a little too with anility. The box is on fire. I'll find some fuel then. Any fuel down low? No. Need to be more bursty with it. Never mind, fuel acquired. Fire at will. What the fuck was that thing? I haven't seen that before. Calculated. Thank you. 
Fuck, I'm out. <laughs>